Hey guys, um, finally have a live haul video. Um, I guess using my Chromebook lets it happen. So we're doing a haul outside again. Um, and the reason is because there are seven boxes of a Goodwill, shopgoodwill.com um, purchases that I made over um, the last weekend um, to add to my closet. So this is going to maybe be broken up into a couple. Um, I am outside, so you can hear cars and stuff, but I literally don't have room in my studio area to do this inside. So we've got our cheat sheet, and we have one, two, three, four, five items for $44 total. So a little less than ten dollars each so we have a nike and these are nine and a half so these are probably women's now it says they're men's nine and a half nike sneakers not bad shape i mean they need to have um need to be cleaned up So the bottoms need to be cleaned up, but um, the tops are in pretty good condition. So those are good. And it looks like I only paid up on one item. Yeah, so there's only one, and that's these guys that I paid a little extra. And these are super cool. They say they're men's, but they need to be cleaned, definitely. But these are Nike, rose, gold, and black. They're eight and a half. Um, they have the non-marking soles. Look how cute. They're rose, gold, and black. And then they got the, the big, giant Nike swoosh. So, need to be cleaned up. But these are in really good shape. And they got kind of like nubby. They're not cleats. But these are probably would be really good for golf because they're got that little knobby or even like hiking would be good. Okay, so we've got two bags on the bottom here, it looks like. And we had three pairs of shoes. So this is the last pair of shoes. And these are the ones that are on the back side. I like these. Um, these are Jack Rogers. If you can see that. Jack Rogers. And look how cute these are little leather sling, sling backs. And they have kind of a, a leather crochet on the front there. And then really nice underneath. It's not dirty at all underneath. Really nice. It's like, it's kind of pulled away up here a little bit, but it's secure underneath. So I'm not sure what's going on with that it looks like maybe the sole was put down too far that the sole should have been put up here but they're really cute nice insides kind of pirate looking you know jack rogers we're gonna go with that okay then our two bags um bag number one is Ethan anga Inga. I, I need to actually learn how to pronounce this properly because I keep buying this stuff because I love it. They have such great leather. Now, this is probably the largest of their bags that I've gotten. So, the majority of them... Oh, it's really clean inside. Oh, yay. This one looks like brand new. I know I don't have as good a light down here. But, yeah, there's like... There's like no wear on the corners. This baby's in great shape. So nice. Really good leather and canvas. So that's the signature. So it's got their little thing. And this is um, Eileen Tracy. I don't know much about this. I know that it was, um, I've got some vintage Eileen Tracy um, clothes items. But it's like a computer bag. It's it's kind of like a soft-sided briefcase. And it's got this little pouch 
like maybe for putting your ID card for work or something. That would be a cool idea. So you, it's got a ring so you can attach your keys and you could attach like if you have an ID that you have to be able to pull out easily to show to go in and out of work. So really nice little um, Eileen Tra Tracy large ladies gray purse. They're calling it a purse. I would call it like a attache because um, it definitely has more of the going to work stuff. Oh, I like this. Like it's got a little strap on the handles that goes around and snaps. So it holds it closed. Yeah. So I this is not this is not feeling like real leather. Um, and then this is canvas and the front zips. Oh, we may have a broken zipper on the front here. Yeah, so that's going to kind of hurt it is that the zipper's broken in the front. But the rest of it's in great shape. So, well, that's kind of a bummer. All right, so box one down. Box two. Doing the small ones first. But small does not mean little. The reason why some of these are like so few items is because they overweight. They put like a higher weight on some of the items um, than they really weigh. And so that limits how many you can put in the box. Okay, this has got a couple things that I'm very excited about. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've got seven items for $242.82. And there is one big reason why that number is so big. And is this for? This no, this is not. Oh, here it is. Oh my gosh. Okay, here she is. Oh my God, she's so pretty. This is uh, Kate Spade. Um, women's handbag is all it says. It looks so good. I'm so excited. I actually paid $100 for this. But the comps on it, and not even in the best condition, and this thing's premium. Um, so the comps on her are like 500 resale. So it was worth it to try and do my one big purchase. So Kate Spade, you finally came through. We were having a problem yesterday with your bag looking crappy. So like the only thing I can see is like the um, embossing here um, might need a new touch up of the gold. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I'm so excited. Good girl. So that's why that was $200 because um, 120 something of it. So the actual cost of the goods was 184 and 119 of that was this bag. And then you have $28 handling, $13.88 shipping. So from the 242, I think it's like plus four. So it's like. 123 so 123 of the 242 was that bag and then there are several other bags that I paid up for so the next one is new with tags and the retail on this is $88 we've got the hologram showing that it's real and this is a Dooney and Burke Miami Marlins bag um, the comps on this were like 80 um, used. I don't know, like it's got like a little double thing there. So, new with tags, Miami Marlins, Zuni and Burke. Super cute. All right. And that one was the other one that I paid higher on. Um, let me see. Yeah, that one was my next highest purchase and then the last one the next price cost after that is this adorableness this is a coach red handbag 
it's t tiny is like the end thing this year so this summer oh it's super clean inside Let's see your patch um and it comes with like a little metal tag instead of the leather no scratch it there's one little scratch right here okay yeah i can actually that would actually cover up if i i just need to go get some red and there's a little one right here yeah so it just needs to be polished a little bit and that'll be all good and not sure what this is for but isn't she cute so this is your trend you're either going to have really big or really small bags this season um spring and summer is big and little either side so we're going to put the little ones and the little expensive ones in our big expensive one put that one over there okay so um our next one is the cole han and Kohan green handbag and this one was like the next highest that I upsell so all of these were higher than my normal dollar which we know is really a dollar so really nice Kohan it's nice and clean inside I like this teal with the green very cool magnetic closures so we're not having that issue i got the nice zipper pull so lovely green cool han leather bag all right and then our next highest is going to be okay we got a couple or that are in the same price range Oops. okay so this is the other coach handbag and this is leather and jacquard. Jacquard is the fabric that, well, actually, this one isn't jacquard. It doesn't look like it. It may be. It's just more, instead of that nylon y feeling, it feels more cottony. But I guess it is. Um, really good shape. Don't see anywhere along the bottoms. Oh, I like that. I for a little tag on the outside like that. And this is probably a mini hobo because it's kind of got that hobo style. And then it's got the the buckle front. So I think they're actually called buckle front hobos. So this would be the middle one. So um, I know the larger of this I saw. Um, the grateful queen quimby quimby got a lot of coach bags and she got the larger version of this and i was pretty sure that i'm pretty sure it was called the buckle clothes hobo this is jamaica bay this isn't like a big brand but it it, it does have a good following especially like um you know for travel it's got a little bit of peeling on the inside but we can clean that out. There's no stains. Oh, well, there's a little bit here, but that's going to be spot treatable. So Jamaica Bay Discover Paradise. I love this print. And it's not like a loud, screaming tropical. It's like tans and then muted greens and reds and yellow. And then you've got the Jamaica Bay with the pineapple snap closure on the front. And that's pretty clean, too. So, yeah, I don't know. I might want to keep this one. I love, you know. And this comes off, so you could actually throw this strap in the wash. You could probably throw the whole bag in the wash, actually. You just need to, if you wash anything that does have some leather trim on it, you need to go back in and condition that leather big time. Um, don't use bleach or anything like that. Um, you want to run it on a gentle cycle. Preferably don't have an agitator um, in your machine. But some of that stuff can be washed um, in the washing machine. But you need to use mild detergents. And then make sure as soon as you get it out, 
you don't put it in the dryer, you want to start putting condition into um, the leather. So you're going to want to use a, um, like, you could probably, a good idea would actually even be to put saddle soap on your leather first, which will give it a little bit of protection when it's in the wash. Um, and then when you pull it out, then you're going to wipe it down and that'll pull the dirt and everything that the saddle soap has been able to get. And then once you've saddle soaped it, got it nice and clean, then you're going to start putting in either actual colored waxes or, you know, even using a neutral conditioner wax is a good thing. Um, so in the army, we call it spit shines because, you know, in the old day you would spit shine. Um, but you use pit, spit, but um, the way to actually burn in the wax into your leather is put just like a little bit. Don't put a lot. If you put too much, then it's not going to work. You just want to put like in your, in the cap of your, you're going to open your um, words. Okay. You're going to open your wax use the lid put water and just a drop of alcohol isopropyl alcohol that will actually cause the wax which is what you want to get into condition and protect that leather that's going to actually burn it into you know burn it into your um shoes a lot of people will use to you know like you would light light it on fire and then, you know, now it's soft and so you rub it in, but you're actually burning up the wax that you need going into the leather. So that little drop of isopropyl alcohol is going to help burn or push the, that leather wax into your shoes or bags or whatever leather item. You know, same with jackets and stuff. A lot of people don't um, condition their, their leather jackets and you really should because especially like if it's an area like this where you're sweating, <laughs> even in the winter, um, that salt is really bad for your leather. So after that tutorial, I have the last of box two is Sam Edelman's. And I think these were, this says all man-made, but this sure looks like a leather sole. Hmm. Pretty nice. So... I think these are probably, um, what's it called, anthropology. And you can you can tell, I mean, they need to be wa washed. This one is an outside walker, so you can see where they've kind of like worn it down on the letters there. So they kind of walk to the side of the ball of the foot. And these are, I don't think I've pulled sizes on anything. Um, these are a six medium. All right, so box number two is done. I'm going to put, we'll keep bags in that one, and then we'll start putting our shoes in here. And I have about, I think I have about 100, 110 pairs of shoes um, already. So we'll be working on getting all of those listed. I got a couple listed yesterday. I do have one pair of um, new without box Timberlands that I got. Um, I actually got them yesterday and listed them. And I have them not for sale right now because a gentleman um, wanted to buy it when he got paid. And he gets paid today. So, um I've put those, you know, kind of on reserve for him. So um, they may come back up. I don't know. But I just, you know, I don't want to, like, push somebody into a situation where it's like, oh, you want this. You have to buy it right now. No, I don't have a problem holding something for somebody for a week or something, especially right now in this time when people are just getting back to work. If you, you know, aren't going to, have your paycheck or whatever for a week, you know, I, I can put something on hold for you. No problem, that's all. Okay. But yesterday was like day of the low ballers. 
it was like just kept getting offers that were like ridiculous. And then you get the people that tell you how much less that they can find what they're trying to get from you online. It's like, well, then go get it there. I don't know. I guess they think that if you if they tell you that they can get it somewhere else for less, that you're gonna be like, oh no, I gotta get your stuff. No, if if that's your game, I don't want to do business with you. That's the reality. I, I don't bully people and I don't appreciate someone trying to bully me. And that's what I feel that it is. Okay, so back to this. So these are super cute. These are green and pink pumas. Being asked. Okay. Oops, sorry. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, so they do need to be washed, but they're super cute. Green and pink. I love green and pink together. Um, these are size uh that's yeah. US is six and a half. So you know their their bottoms need to be clean a bit. Paloma. Uh, this one needs to be cleaned inside here. It's kind of gross. But, sorry, I'm trying to keep it from being gross up. So these are Paloma. I think it's Paloma Picasso, maybe. Oh, I didn't even have my paper out. We didn't even do the breakdown. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Four items for 79 So there's a bag in here that was a big pay up. So hopefully that works. So these are Palomas. It doesn't say if there's a Paloma Picasso. So I have to look it up. But made in Italy. These are seven and a half. They're really cute, narrow though. They're super narrow. So these would definitely not work on my little fat feet. But um, they're, they're gold. There's a couple of scuffs back here. Again, I just have to get the appropriate colored wax to clean and condition those. That's the bad part about getting a lot of different colors and stuff. That means like more investment you have to make into um, colored conditioners and um, polishes. But I think, you know, like as you, if you add as you go, which is what I've been trying to do, it's not as big of a hit right away. Um, and hopefully I make enough on these to be able to buy those supplies so that I can keep doing this. So these are new without the box. And these are Mark Mo Madova. Mark Madova, made in Italy. But these are like so 1970s cute. Look, they're like tangerine. And then they have the little flower power wedges. These are size 40, which I think is like a 9 or a 10. I think it's a 10. So, these are super cute. Love them. These are actually, I just have like a couple little places right here and here that they need to be wiped off. I don't know what got on there. It's not like from a step because it's just like one little spot of it. So I'll just clean those up real quick and those will be ready to list today. Probably depends on if I can push them through. I have so many shoes right now sitting up there waiting for me to shoot them. Okay, here's the big purchase item on this box. Another Dooney and Burke. And you see you got your leather patch in the front. A little bit of fringe. It's a single big bag pocket. It doesn't have a liner. So it's like raw leather on the inside. You do have your key strap and your drawstring top. So it's a really good size bag. Um, it is this should so the strap is really tightened in, but you could go longer. So this could actually work as a shoulder bag or a crossbody just depending on where you put the straps. So with it tight like it was, we had a little shoulder bag and now loosened out, 
Well, I guess it's not a crossbody, but it is a drop bag. Okay. So you can either have it so that it's like up under your arm real tight or drop down. So, and oh, this has got a heavy metal little tag. So hopefully these are what you guys keep telling everybody they are. I have never been a purse person. Um, I've only like started doing purses. Um, so we'll see how this works. My shoes go pretty good. The shoes, I seem to like get those in and out. I've only got one purse posted so far because I really need to you know, look a little more and make sure I got my research done and make sure everything good. Chewy, no. No. Go find lizards. Go get the lizards. My dog's trying to figure out who I'm talking to. Okay, so this one we have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. So this one we have eight items, but fifty-six dollars and ninety-two cents. So this one has a good amount of things. Good amount of things. Uh, and now somebody's gonna start cutting their grass. You guys. Okay. So we have another a ton anger anger little white crossbody. And I love the texture on this. Oh, it's got a little mirror in it. How cute. So this is very vintage. Um, the inside lining is kind of doing this thing where, like, this stuff that gets put um, on the inside of leather, it doesn't do well in heat and humidity. So... I don't know where you are if you keep having these problems, but I keep having problems with the inner linings cracking and coming off and kind of, you know, like ruining the entire thing. So um, I got to figure out something to do to repair these because this is a gorgeous bag. Okay. Gorgeous little vintage bag. It needs some spot cleaning along here. But the biggest problem is this stuff that they use to line the leather. The straps are in great condition, too. It's like all the leather is fine. It's just the stuff that they're putting on the leather that's a problem. <sighs> okay, the up oh, Tori. Or is this Tommy Hilfiger? Yeah, this is Tommy. Yep, Tommy Hilfiger. Nice big tote. You got your Tommy logo. You've got your little icon, got on. Huge, nice big. You've got a zipper in the middle. And you got another zipper on the side with your Tommy Hilfiger logo. You've got one pouch. Great little. Um, there's a, you know, like a little thread coming out on this. On, this but this is one where it's it should be fine just trim it it'll be fine it's not like the ones that are the leather is actually falling apart so really nice so very happy with that all right so you are oh i love the wood on these already So I have a little bit similar, like lace up booty, but I think it's a sling back too, already in. But these are Martinez Val Valero. And these are real wood soles. Love that shape. Oh, these are so pretty and dainty. Um, these are an 8B. Beautiful. The bottoms look pristine. So the suede on the front needs to be cleaned up a little bit. And those are ready to go. Those are gorgeous. Yeah, and this hill needs a little wood cleaner. It looks like somebody there looks like there is a um a little bit of a gap in 
where the shoe heel and so we might have tried to put something in there. Well, this one actually looks a little more worn. So, yeah, I think these are worn. It's just, that's kind of weird. You don't really have any wear at all on this one. And then this one has some dirt and stuff on it. So, I don't know. We'll get those cleaned up and listed. I don't want to get my sweat on you, Kate. Okay. Okay, so some nice canvas Timberlands. So men's, these are my size. These just have that authentic Timberland under the toe. So I mean, these are like grandpa boat shoes, is what I would call them. I like the color. Um, so these were um, size nine and a half. Timberland men's casual shoes. So basically, they're just kind of like boat shoes. Just um, the embroidered logo on this one is a little bit dirty. It looks like it may have salt wear because it salt is usually gives you these white streaks. This one's fine. So this one is probably some salt water because it's from Miami and that's. All right, so I've got two pairs of shoes, a bag, and a coat still to come to finish this box. Um, 31 minutes. Is anybody even on? No, nobody's on. Hi, oh, sorry. I'll save it for later. Um, okay, so this is, there you go. I'll be Lane Bryant probably, I would think. Where you at, girl? Oh, no, these are Lucky Brand. Oh, maybe a probably red on the inside. So these are Lucky Brand. They're like neoprene. So they're a neoprene outer. You've got the laser cutting. Sorry, the light in here is not great because I'm under the house to try and keep cool. Um, so Lucky Brand, these are all PAJA1A. Um, got a good flexible sole. And neoprene. Those are easy cleanups and easy care for that material. So those are great for summer. All right. I'm sorry. I'm like dripping sweat. Hopefully everybody can hear me with all the stuff in the background. Not good. Okay. So we got another one that's coming dirty. Okay. So. This is really getting old. So another one where the the liner that's been put the basically it's like a fabric and then it has this fake um, stuff like fake leather or whatever that goes on top of the lining this fabric lining and that's what is getting destroyed. The leather is beautiful. The leather is perfect. It's just the stupid fake stuff that they keep putting on it. And it's like, this is not the environment to have fake crap on your leather. So, so those basically what I've been doing is removing the, the stuff that schmegs off of it. And then I have, this needs to be clean. So these are um, Bujol de Pie Ped. So, um, visual de pad. De pad would be for walk, like pad is, or pied is walking, I think. I don't remember a lot of my French from high school. Now, if it was in German, I'd probably be able to figure it out easier. But these are so cute. They're little leather sandals and then you have straps you can tie them up around your legs if you want they do need to be cleaned these are 37s which i think is seven seven and a half so these are just going to have to go into the lining repair section of 
the projects. All right. And then this was cute. I guess it's like supposed to be kind of reminiscent of the um, fanny pack, but they call it a bum bag. So it's a little travel bag you can have around your waist or use as a crossbody. I think today people would use it more as a crossbody than around the waist. But it's cute little yellow, blue, and red plaid. You've got a a pocket in the front with mesh. Then you've got a zip, zipper pocket in the front. And then in the inside, you have an open pocket. And then it's got like some little attachments for stuff. But I like this. I'm not sure. It's got a little hole. Like you could hook something through there to where it... A different way but the way that the zipper goes maybe I don't know what this is for I was gonna say maybe it's for sticking in it I don't know so that's kind of wild it's got like a little grommet on the back there but I have no idea what that's for so I'll have to look that up so thumb bag and this is now my third so I will be ready for everybody that is needing these guys for um, fall and even rainy season. You can just take out the liner. But another London Fog lined trench coat. Oh, you need to be washed, baby. So... This guy needs a trip to the dry cleaner. Um, and this is um, polyester and comb cotton. Oh, you can regular wash this. Um, yeah, so it's a 12 petite. So this is a ladies. It does have the removable liner. So you can use it as a raincoat when it's too hot for leaving the liner. Nice length. All right, three more boxes. Here we go. Oh, we're only at 37 minutes. Oh, and I'm sitting on plastic. Very inconvenient. Um, okay, so I'm going to need another box for putting stuff in. All right, so here we go. So this looks like it's another box that they didn't put very much in. So we have one, two, three, four. Four items for $76.86. All of them were paid up. I don't know why I paid that much for coach shoes, though. Um, yeah. Maybe the size. So these are Coach Lady Signature Monogram Sneakers, nine and a half. I have a few of these already. Um, oh, these look newer than the other ones I have. Yeah, these are in a lot better shape. The other ones, you know, I, they're in great shape, but they're not like this looking newish shape. So very nice signature. This one's also got the little silver lace retainer the coach on it. I don't think my other ones have that. Um, I do have another pair of black ones that are like this and then I have a pair of champagne colored ones. So I love these. These are great for summer. You know you still get your little um, label showing going on but they're nice and comfortable shoes so that's a big part. Okay, so I think this is, is this you? Okay, so hopefully this is not a bummer like my other one. It's looking good right now. Okay, maybe a little spot cleaning needed. So we have a nice big Kate Spade black Duffel style hobo. Um, 
It's got a big key holder thing. So that's going in my eye. You got patent leather accents. There's your leather accent. Huge pocket inside. Really clean. No marks. You've got... Oh, I like this. You've got like the rubber or kind of catchy like that. So these are, this is a great like gym bag or even like an overnighter or a diaper bag. You can use this as a diaper bag too if you want to be cool and trendy. Um, okay, so this can also hook onto each other like that and then you can wear it as a strap. That's pretty cool. I like that. So it's easy to put it away and it's part of the bag itself so you don't have to risk losing it. You've got side pockets, a little dirt there. Um, so it looks like, okay, so this one, you have this patent leather closure that you can close in on it. So both sides, got the Kate laid, Kate Spade grommets. Okay, so this is redeeming the, the one I got yesterday that had a lot of issues. The bottom looks good. Um, it's got a little, you know, it's got a little bit of price tag smag, but other than that, um, there's a, no, I think it was just my, where I was holding that. Yeah, looks really good. So. The other bag that I got yesterday was a bummer. This one and the my big Spence one both did very well. So, yay. I'm very excited about that. Okay, so now we've got some men's leather Sperry shoes. I've been buying a lot of Sperry shoes just because I know how great they are to have during the summer months. You've got, um, this one needs, you know, a little love. Needs a little polish action going on. Um, but these shoes, you take care of them, and they will last and last. So these, like the bottoms, there's like, I don't know. It's not even wear because it's scratching off. I don't know what that's from. But the bottoms look brand new. The tops are in very good condition. It just really needs some um, conditioner because the leather feels like it's kind of it's still soft, but it feels a little bit dry. So we'll condition those babies, get them ready. And here I have another pair of these and I didn't realize that I bought two. I guess I thought, but these are a little different. These are beige. The ones that I cleaned up yesterday to get ready. Oh, and they need, oh, they need some mass work. I think somebody threw these in the washer. These are suede but it's like really compacted. So it's going to need a lot of cleanup. you got some discoloration back here, but, and then the, this is like a plain. Yeah, this is more gold gold with beige and the ones that I have um, already that are, that are ready. I think I just have to put laces on them. Um, and those are rose gold and white. So this, these guys just need some cleanup. They've got some discoloration. Um, and it's everywhere, so I don't know where this red stuff is that's kind of on it, but it's on the hill, it's on there, and it's all the way around, so not sure what that is, but we'll get some good suede cleaner, some brushes going on it, get those cleaned up, and then I'll have, and what those are these guys? These guys are, um, these are seven. And I think the other ones are like a nine or nine and a half. They're a little bigger. All right, guys. Two boxes left. And we're under an hour. So I think we're doing pretty good. All right. Okay. So there's something in here. If I'm like super, super excited, I'm definitely going to put it right up if it's a, it's in the shape that um, I think it's in. But these aren't like a super high-end thing, you know, like the Kate Spade. But they're cool. Okay, so yeah, and it looks like those they're actually the most expensive thing in the bag, but not like that way. Oh, where are you? 
Oh my god. Check these babies out. Are these not the most awesome little moto boots ever? So you've got animal print, you've got patent leather, you've got like a neoprene, you've got some more felting animal print. Oh my gosh. And they're brand spanking new. I love the fluorescent. Oh my God, I love these so much. So I think these are going to be like my Vogue boots that I put them up and I think they were sold within like five hours. So if you love these as much as I do and you are a eight or eight slash 41 as it's got. So I guess that's US eight. It says UK eight though. So maybe it's a, what size does it say on here? Yeah, these are an eight, but I think they use that UK eight. Because I think a 41 is bigger. These look bigger. But I will double check on the size. Leave me a comment if you want them. Because I think those are going to go really fast. Because I'm weird like that. Okay, so this one I'm kind of excited that I did not have to pay up on it. I really love the shape. Isn't that cool? It's asymmetrical little bag and it's um it's a shoulder bag you can't drop it down um it's tannin tannino 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 but i really like the shape of the bag it was like the first thing that drew me to it but it's really clean inside but it needs a little polish it's definitely dry is this even this might be vegan leather, though. Hold on. Right, let me see the ingredients tab. Um, it does have a serial number in here instead of an ingredients tag. Where's your ingredients tag? So if it's got a serial number, it probably is real leather. Just kind of weird. It's not really pebbled. It does have texture, but it's... if. Yeah, it's really dry. That works fine. This looks I just got in there. There's like a little piece of fluff in the end of the clipper there. Just have to work that out, but it's at the closed part. So, but I really love the shape of this. Really cute little shoulder bag. For summer that in Kate because I, I think the comps on that were actually kind of high <sighs> damn it so yeah these will probably just go back to donate because it's one thing when the, the fake leather stuff is peeling on the inside of the shoe it's another thing when it's on the outside so these are little gold baby fats with some bling on the side. Luckily, I did not pay too much for them. Um, so, what size are these? Oh, they're my size. I'll wear them. So, there you go. I got myself a pair of $5 shoes. All right. Okay. Franco Sarto. And these are really nice little, um, it's kind of like a, a golden yellow, not like a yellow yellow, but like kind of that um, tannish yellow, little leather strappy, and nice cork. These are like solid cork. Very nice. And these are really clean underneath. Franco Sarto. Let me see what size you are, Franco. Oh, I'm like so where are you? Oh, there you are. You're so cute. Okay. Um Franco Sardo. Uh these are eight and a half. Hmm. So those are my size too. Leather upper, balance man made, made in China. Um, it's the 
Kitani. And it's a six and a half. Not an eight. No. Oh no, it is eight and a half. It's six and a half UK. So it's an eight and a half US. So that definitely does make what's the for the euro is 39 and a half. So that does tell me that the other thing was an eight and a half after all, or an eight. Okay, so really cute little leather Frank Sartos. This quick up and down. Ooh, I really like these. These look really good. So these are full leather. Um, you know, you got a sole with little nubs on it of black leather. You got your Cole Haan logo here. Nice moccasin top leather. The the inside is like leather, so it's not that crap that keeps falling off. Nice leather sole. These are really nice. Really nice little black Kohan moccasins, five and a half. That's how cute stuff, so tiny. Oh man, you are interesting. So another Tignello. I'm really falling in love with this brand. Actually, I'm already in love with this brand. I love how soft the leather is. It is textured. So it's a pebbled leather, but it's still, it's just really nice. You, you know you're holding leather. Nice hardware. I love, they always have big, thick hardware. Really pretty linings. This is nice. Really great shape. Oh. It's actually got, let's see. So this is I don't know if like they forgot to like this looks like one of the tags that they put on there. So I guess maybe it had two tags on it. No, because this is a different tag. Hmm. It's the same bag. So no idea. Tigna Tigna Nello. It looks like how they broke it up, but I think it's it's not two words. It's Tigna Nello. Um, but this is kind of like a, it's a gray, but it has a little bit of blue undertone to it. Really great shape. I'm going to have to get all these Tiganellas up because they're so pretty and they're nice. They're heavy, a little bit of cleanup that needs to be done on this. Oh, I love those now. Now I'm addicted to Tignello instead of Coach. <sighs> and then Tiva. And I think these are my size. I think I got these because they might be mine. What? Tiva, no, size six. Dang it. Okay, Tiva women's black sandals, size six. So these are great water, water, walking around sandals. They need to be cleaned up. You can tell they've been in the ocean because they got a little of the salt on it nice sturdy really good shape so a little bit of fuzz in your thing there but yeah so these guys are going to be up pretty quick these probably just need to be wiped down and get the rocks out of the seal there okay last box guys and we're still under an hour i'm so proud of myself okay oh, this box got kind of beat up Okay, so let's see what our breakdown on this is. And then um, what I'll do is um, after I get everything put away, I'll add up all of these together and the ones from yesterday um, because they were all kind of ordered at the same time. Um, so give, having like an overall everybody spread out kind of cost of goods for the whole thing. Okay, so this is... Four items for $35.40. So all of these were, none of these were up bids. Oh, you actually made it. These actually look really good. Yep. 
Yeah, they have them worn because you got a little bit of wear there. But on the shoe itself, there's no wear. So this is the Alyssa um, by Mascotti. Look how pretty that is. And these suckers are high. Rhinestone action. And these are size nines. Yeah. That has to hurt. I'm sorry. These are hot. Okay, so I'm going to leave those out because I don't want them to get banged around and lose their gems. I've already had it. They... The vintage pair come out banged up. Okay, so it looks like the rest are bags. Yay. I didn't even know I got this many shoes. I did think it was this was going to be mostly bag heavy. Okay, so this is Bueno. And it is a crossbody bag. That's kind of all it tells me. It is leather. And it's kind of a cool, like, um, terracotta. It's like terracotta colored. Needs a little bit of cleanup. Um, the insides are pretty good. So it says crossbody, but it's actually um, okay. So this is where I got it because it can be a backpack or a crossbody. So it has these guys that go like that. Well, actually, I think it would be a shoulder bag like that. So you can either use it like a shoulder bag or. You can flip those down, and now you've got a little backpack. I have to figure out how to do it especially. But, so, nice little terracotta leather bag that can be crossbody or... Oh, okay. So, you can actually take these off, and then that's when you can put them in different configuration. To either be a shoulder bag, crossbody bag, or backpack. So very versatile purse. I think that is a great, you know, like have this in your wardrobe because it'll go with jeans, it'll go a little dressier, you know, terracotta. Um, okay, I think this is a coach. Oh no, this is another Benfong hangar. I, I will look it up. I'm, I know, I'm sick of mispronouncing it myself. Okay, this one's nice and big. At that. So it's a signature, fabric signature with leather accents. Bottoms are doing great. Nice and clean. And then it's got the big heavy. This is nice. Man. Super nice. Really great. And the inner, it's a signature inner. See, I think this is opposite coach. Coach, if it's signature outside, then it doesn't have a signature inside. But these, I notice, like, if it's the signature outside, the inside lining will have, like, sometimes it'll just be, like, striped. And it'll just have the name written really small in that um, pattern or, like, this. And it's just the, the signature logo all over. I'm sorry that for the light, but I really... I had no room to do this inside so but, loving it and listing it okay okay got a little bit of issues going on here but it could look like it's meant to be so this is the sack this is my second one that I'm not really impressed with because um, it's that same thing. They're using the fake leather, and so that fake part has rubbed off in some places. But the fabric that's underneath it actually is nice. And so it's kind of giving it... It actually doesn't look bad. It actually looks better, I think, with the worn areas. That's pretty interesting. Okay, so we got leather or faux leather. It's probably vegan leather since that is up top. 
nice big open. It does have some pen marks and stuff. So this is definitely a mom bag. Got a little marker on there. So this one isn't going to really do much of anything. But I should at least be able to get my $5 back, I hope. If not, presents for people. So that's it. That is seven boxes of bags and shoes that are now going to go get listed. My big venture with the Kate Spade. I'm very happy because I was really worried about this one. Because um, I have not done any big purchase bags. So, I mean, like, the... 20 and 30 dollar ones were like nail biters but so i'm very happy i know i'm going to get my money back on that bag i'm going to do calculations on all of my orders together kind of figure out where i'm at as far as you know being able to work the duds the loss of income from the duds into hopefully some profit from others so that I have an overall profit. And here comes the mail to pick up a sale from yesterday. So with that, bye. Okay, in stream. Yes. End.